we knew that that guy was a temporary program, and yet it allowed us to take a, a, a breath of fresh air to, for once in our lives, to be able to work without the fear of being deported, to be able to travel within the United States without the fear of being deported. And when I got that guy in 2013, it allowed me to work on campus. It allowed me to get a little bit of money so that I can pursue my education. It also allowed me to qualify for certain programs that I didn't qualify. I was able to, for the first time in my life at age 21, get my driver's license and drive without the fear of being stopped by a police officer. It opened up opportunities that I never knew would have been there. And though I've lived with DACA for five years, my heart aches for those who never even qualified for such a program. For the other thousands of undocumented youth who are still and continue to live under the shadows. The announcement was something that truly ached our community, and there are many youth who are prepared to fight and defend DACA. We are one of the most resilient people that you would ever meet. Um, our parents are the original dreamers. We didn't come here with the dream. Initially, our parents wanted. For me, my mom came when I was six years old. Her dream was that I would have a better childhood than the one that she had in Mexico. Ever since then, I've been working so hard in school because it was the only thing that I could control. I couldn't control our poverty. I couldn't control our family problems, but I could control how many A's I got in school. I could take control of my education. I could strive as high as I could, and I was able to be one of the fortunate students who would get a full ride scholarship to Pomona College. I majored in history. I, I, learned, I know more American history than the average American. I, I, I love this country. It is, it is my home. I've been here for almost 20 years, and my dream is to become a citizen. My dream is to vote. My dream is to be a part of this society. Many of us undocumented youth want to serve. We, we are in industries that are service-oriented. Everything that we do, for many of us, it's for this society. It is to improve not only just immigrants, it is to improve the lives of Americans as well. We have such a heart for this country and we only <coughs> wish for this country to see us for what we are. We are Americans by heart, even if we're not American by law. And so my call is for the administration, it is for the Congress to have the political courage to truly make something long term. If that guy will be resigning, which is a shame, we ask that there would be something in place because otherwise, 800,000 youth like me would be again undocumented and without the uh, without any alternative, will be pushed into immigrant labor force, working jobs that our parents have to work. We have master's degrees, we have bachelor's degrees, we have PhDs that will not be able to be implemented because of the lack of a nine-digit social security number. And we ask Congress to have the political courage to truly make something permanent, to pass the DREAM Act, to pass comprehensive immigration reform. 